Welcome to the channel. I am Charlie. Today I got VW Golf. Basically, alternator problem. I already done the diagnostic. I'll go with you from beginning because this customer stay while he driving his power steering lock, electrical getting playing up, and lot of warning at the dashboard. Engine management sign, airbag sign, and power steering side however first of all i'm going to start the car and show you what's going on at the moment nothing at the dashboard i'm going to do the steering headlight on and also heating on radio on light on right now I'm going to do the steering no nothing happened today right I'm going to switch off everything basically yesterday this engine management light on in here like a power steering red color sign on and this dashboard going to be disappeared no light like that at all Basically, like these problems, very difficult to find out with the computer. However, we need to go manual. First of all, I'm going to start the car and I'm going to the engine bay. Yesterday, I ordered the new alternator. Have a look. In here, it says lamp terminal output voltage 14.43 basically according to the these figures it need to be issue 14.43 voltage output from the alternator have a look 15.23 yesterday when i checked this one was 16 something basically this alternator overcharging however i am going to check with the alternator terminal what's going on there see same 15.23 15, 13, 16, yeah. Basically, alternate and the battery issue in the same voltage. Then I'm going to change the alternator because at the moment I knew this alternator issue in more voltage is not good for the car. I'm going to switch off the car and I'm going to change the alternator. First of all, I need to remove from here. It's already cracked. We need to put some tape here. Right. Then after that, there is a vacuum line and electrical connector this side. Need to remove this vacuum line first. Careful, it's very fragile. This hose, I snap many. Right, see, see. That's why I mean this one very fragile. Anyway, we have to go with the alternative. I think it's already broken there i'm going to lift up here do it very gently right lift up from the back back and going to move to the side then i have a enough space to work around the alternator alternator sit on here 
first of all i am going to remove negative battery post right leave out of the way the seat then i am going to the alternator belt now right i already remove this cover there is a screw one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten screws there basically i'll remove and i'll take out this cover now i have access to underneath tensioner first of all i'm going to lock the tension then after that i'm going to remove the belt what i'm going to do i'm going to remove the belt before that i'm going to lock the tensioner we need a 16 mil socket for here then after that i'm going to this one leave it there and just turn anti-clockwise and after that i'm going to install this thing now see it's locked now you can see here then after that i can remove the belt if you're not sure the belt diagram i'm advised you make a drawing but i know how is going on then i am okay with the belt diagram then i've got to remove from the this tensioner and leave it belt out of the way first i'm going to remove the top guide pulley It's holding with 16 mil nut. Right, I'm going to remove that two 13 mil bolts. Just tiny. Crack from the long bar, then after that, I can use the right now. Already it's loose, so I can use my ratchet gun. Right, top one out. Now I can remove the alternator. Right, you can see it's moving now. I have to wiggle and remove it. that. Right now it's out. Then I going to tip upside down and after that i'm going to remove this power line this power line 13 mil then after that i'm going to remove this wire After that, I had to remove this, I think, 8 mil. Now, I can lift up here and the wire. Right, now again, I'm going to 
flip upside down the alternator and going to remove this electric connector. After I done, I'll give pressure for the this pipe, AC pipe little bit tucked in. Then after that, I'll took it out from this space. I'll manage to take out. Then I'm going to compare new one and the old one identically same all good for me then again back to the slot and I'm going to count these strips one two three four five and this one one two three four five oh yeah all good I'm going to install new one same procedure I have to follow just see just push in from this gap that's it it's in now right now slide into the slot and do the nut right top one okay and I'm going to slide to bottom one once we lined up we can try the knot just do the hand thread couple of thread by hand right Then top one. Right. It's nice and tight. Then after that, I'm going to connect this electric connector. Right. It's in. Right. Now I have to install the belt. Also, when you work underneath, have a look around that area, underneath the engine, no? you can see, I can see a little bit dribbling water. When I go back of the water pump, you can see here, the water pump, it's leaking from water pump. And also here, you can see a lot of grease around that area, it's coming from CV boot inner. Also, you can see underneath wet patch under the sump, it's leaking from sump area. Basically, when you underneath work, have a look quick around. If you notice anything, better to inform to the customer, then customer can way off that problems. Right, now I'm going to install driver belt. Before the driver belt, sorry, I forget, I had to install this idler right that idler fix then I need to do the driver belt we need to turn anti-clockwise and take out the pin oh just tiny bit right now i can remove the pin right now you can see belt not slack right now i'm going to start the car and have a look how is thing going on I'm going to connect this negative terminal 
you need to do with the steady hand. Just do the hand tight, nice and tight. Now I'm going to start the car and then check with the multimeter what's going on. When I start the car, I should see around 14.5 around voltage from this alternator. Make sure one more time everything okay. Right, I'm going to start the car now. Right. We'll see how about the voltage. Here we are exactly fourteen point five four. No overcharging. Right. That's why we need to see from the battery early. You remember it's overcharging now, however, it's charging. But I'm not going to stop from here. I'm going to take to the road test and have a look. Everything okay? If it's okay, I'm going to hand over to customer because I need to check how is the power serial working, are they everything working as should be. If it yes, I call to the customer and hand over. Sometimes when you alternate a play up, sometimes it's issuing low voltage, sometimes it's issuing high voltage. However, this scenario, high voltage. Now, I'm happy, but I'm not happy until I go to the road test. After the road test, I'll come back to you. Right, now alternator work fine. You can see a lot of warning light on the dashboard because I disconnect the battery. That's why once I take to the road and RPM go more than five miles per hour, then this old light going to be disappeared. Now you can see, just take it back, old light disappeared. Right, done the road test. I didn't see any funny warning light. All look like to me okay. Then I'll explain you again what's going on this car. This car came to me. Lot of warning lights on engine management, airbags, and also power steering. Then when I check the alternator, alternator is in high voltage. What I done? I'll change the alternator, check, now went to the road test, all fine. If you have a like this problem, start with the alternator, don't going to depend on the computer. If you depend on the computer and going to attack to the engine management, power steering, airbags, you are ending with big problem. Be aware of that one, I want to share the ideas. Thank you, see you with the next video.